Hi guys, what's going on? It's Bristol Prepper Channel here. Thank you for joining me on this wonderful Wednesday evening. So guys, don't worry, we're halfway through the week, so uh, let's crack on with this video. Today, we are looking at something a little bit different I don't, um, haven't heard of a lot. So, everybody here is off, um, talks about um, first aid, you know, the importance of first aid and having good first aid kits and uh, all the necessary items uh, that relate to that, you know, uh, towards prepping and bushcraft, you know, so taking those things out with you when you're doing your bushcraft, a uh, good first aid kit, obviously um, for any touch wood, but anything bad might happen, wash right there, any accidents. And then obviously prepping wise, you know, we always have good first aid kits, quite extensive first aid kits to um, last us um, in a good long term SHF if we needed it. Do you know, just, just some supplies uh, put by that we'd know, uh, give us a nice peace of mind. I haven't heard a lot about everyday um, medical supplies, you know. I'll bring some out, like my, one of my uh, many drawers and compartments, but. Um, this is like my medical drawer, like a little everyday stuff, so I got some anti-diarrhea -di tablets, I got uh, antiseptic wipes, I've just got an uh, first aid spray, you know, antiseptic spray, um, just some everyday stuff, you know, some normal paracetamol, uh, some safety gloves, I'm not sure if I said that already, just loads of stuff, uh, antiseptic cream, um, some hay fever tablets and allergy relief tablets, um, some, uh, what are they? Gash spray resistant tablets, oh, uh, Dioralax, yeah. So, uh, if you're, you can't shit, if you can't, <laughs> um, if you're shitting flat out, you take your anti diarrhea tablets, and if you're not shitting and you're all blocked up, then you take the uh, Dioralax ones and they will happily relieve your body of all the, of the, all the shit inside of you. Um, and then we've also got some ibuprofen in here uh, and some more paracetamol. And then we've also got shit over plasters as well. Um, yeah, this, like I said, it's one of the many boxes I've got, but this is uh, just from just some everyday, um, you know, uh, medical stuff, you know. So, I know you've got a headache, uh, tablets in here, like I said, hay fever for uh, tablets and allergy relief tablets. Um, and I really think that sort of thing would come in handy. I know it wouldn't last forever in, in a prepping situation. Uh, in a long term SHTF, it wouldn't last obviously very long. Um, a few months or something, something like that. But it would definitely help that transition um, in a long term SHTF, you know? In a very long term grid down situation, like worst comes to the worst. Um, it would really help that transition, you know, having those comforts of um, those medical supplies that can help you out. And I haven't heard a lot of people talking about them, you know, like, because obviously I know it's not first aid and stuff like that, like all those things in there you could live without, but I think they're quite important and it would really help the transition, you know, between uh, living how you are now and then living in SHTF. I think it would be quite important. And they're really helpful, you know, obviously you can fight infection, um, make sure you don't get infection, you know. Uh, prevention is b uh, better than a cure, you know. It's, uh, yeah, I think, I think they're really, really important. Uh, and you obviously don't have to have a lot. Um, I haven't got a lot in this drawer. I have got more, but um, you, know, you don't have to go mad. You can just get yourself a little drawer, a little box like I got. And, um, yeah, start building up some supplies, you know. And they're also really handy to have in the house, you know. Obviously, because I keep this in one of my drawers, um, in one of my prepping drawers. And they're really handy because if the kids need something or the missus needs something, like oh, we've run out in the house, then I'll, I'll always carry spares, you know. I've got lots and lots and lots. So it's really handy. And all I do is take the whole box out, give it to my missus, and then I'll just go out and buy some more uh, for my cabinet or whatever. Um, so, you know, so it's always replenishing my supplies. I never let them go low. Um, but like I said, just super, super handy. Helps you out in everyday life. Like I said, you can just take a shot out of there and use it. Really, really handy, guys. I think quite important to prepping. Obviously, everybody takes prepping. Um, they kind of take it. Uh, in, they, everybody does their own form of prepping. You know, everybody does like does it how they want to do it. But I'm just showing you how I do it. Obviously, you guys, some of you guys might not think it's the best way, or might be a waste of space or whatever. But I think it's quite important. And it will really help me out. Um, and I'm just showing you guys, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, not, not very long today, but um, try to cut down on the video length of 
my link for my videos, you know, trying to get more people to watch the whole video instead of just watching some of that. Anyway, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Very short, just showing you guys um, sort of a quick tip on the uh, medical box and start prepping this sort of stuff. Um, yeah, guys, so if anybody wants any more t-shirts, please give me a shout or any of the jumpers, just give me a shout. The Bristol Prepper hoodies and that. Uh, it's coming to winter now, so you can wear your jumpers and stuff. Otherwise, guys, uh, please go down in the description beneath and check out the link for Bristol Prepper on Facebook. And uh, please like me on there. It helps my channel massively. Also, guys, as always, could you please like, share, comment, and subscribe to this video. It massively helps my channel, and I appreciate every one of you guys. Otherwise, guys, as always, stay prepared, and I'll catch you guys another day, another way.